They want me to go in that TV bedroom. And that thing is in there. And my flashlight's not working. Get ready for that jump scare, folks! I'm walking right into her. <laughs> there she was. The noises gave it away, but fuck me. Hi again. Mm, the door closed to my face. Oh, leg spikes. Oh, that better not fuck up my recordings. What does the game want me to do? What does the game want me to do? You can only use the twitchy fucking dead woman for so long until it becomes overused. Okay, so they want me here. Sort of looks like Patrick Stewart. If you don't, you know, include the boobs and all. It has a Patrick Stewart face to it. Oh wait, there's a door here. That'd explain it. It's too quiet. It's possibly the best way to die. You thinking that... Oh, hey, are you trying to guide me or are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to say it's, it's, it's this way? It's this way. Maybe. Maybe. You're telling me this way. Or... Like... Everything is telling me going that way is the worst way possible. The thing is... One, you'd probably think that way is the evil way. What the fuck would you be thinking by going that way? But I think that'd be with the bias of thinking that this mannequin, or what this mannequin is, most to be, is supposed to represent, is evil. The mannequin hasn't done anything to me. It just, it looks creepy. And, um... And, of course, the predisposition that we think mannequins are evil and, uh, weeping angels. So, I'm going to do completely the opposite and not go to that door at all. I'm going to go this way, towards the creepy fucking mannequins. I want to hope and presume they're not bad. I'm not going to judge them. I already pretty much have, though. Um, let's just not judge and, yeah, go this way. Nothing happened. See, I trusted the mannequins. And they didn't kill me. So, this, this, the video, uh oh. I hate when I try to open a door and it's a dead end. It makes me think if I turn around, something's gonna be right behind me. Um, the game is. A little fucking long if it's gonna be one single video. Oh, hi, man. man mannequin. Are you still peaceful? Are you still happy? Please don't kill me. Oh, hey, more of them. And this one has no head. So I trust you guys are all peaceful. And this is your, like, peace offering. I'm saying, hey, I'll cut off my head. That's a sacrifice needed to make it uh, so I don't think you're all fucking evil. Um, even though I mean, you're you're made to look evil as fuck. Or is this like my sick, twisted fetish where I sit on that chair and there's like a bottle of lubricant at the desk and a box of Kleenex behind me and I fap to this all day long? Like, look at that dead ass. Um. Honestly, I have no idea. Guy needs, like, fucking ass cushion. 1995. Oh, stairs. I don't know what the fuck, the, honestly, the desk is about, but we're going up here. Oh. oh. You have a head now. Um, congrats. You're still creepy, though. A little unnerving. Just a little bit. Now that one's lost its head. And that one has an arm missing. Sure. Moving on in a silent hallway of mannequins. Okay, hi there. You're looking still a little passive-aggressive. You lost your arm. I notice. Um, I respect Whammon. I 
I hope you, all you respect whammon too. Even if they're whammon figurines. Oh. What would you say women mannequins are? Oh, hi, it got dark. Great. Oh, jeez. Okay, you're not, you're not allowed to do that. The mannequin ran at me and scared me. I'm I lost trust in the mannequins. They they were not allowed to do that unless they were fully under What the fuck is that thing supposed to be? Okay, so a let's blame Cthulhu uh, as to making the mannequins go all mad. It's not the mannequins' fault. So I cannot be angry at the mannequins that are going batshit fucking insane. Also, I do have to give credit at least to the developer. This situation of crazy ass mannequins spazzing it's pretty creative. I give props. Also, this door is always locked. Still locked. What I don't give credit for, though, is the the use of SCP music instead of getting your own, or at least, you know, a a, a royalty-free song from YouTube or from somewhere that isn't recognizable, because it, being that it's recognizable, it makes it a little less scary. See, are you pointing me in the direction? See the arm? The shadow? She's saying, go this way. Right? Thanks, doll. You're the best. Respect the, the mannequin whammon. I'm just gonna make this one long fucking episode. I, like, I, I just don't fucking care. Um, I'd rather... Uh-oh. You're gonna do it again, aren't you? What do you want? You want a hug? I don't even know if this is a demo or not, or if this is just a PT clone. <sighs> Blood trail again. Air fit. I, I don't think this is a demo for anything. With that close, it only can mean going to the other door, finally. No! Huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. Thumb, 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 thumb. Spooky. No doing that. Give me one second. There is a little spider on my wall. I'm going to smush it. Hello, little guy. I don't want spiders nibbling my feet when I'm sleeping. I don't like that. Smoosh. The spider has been smooshed. For anyone that loves spiders, I do apologize. I just murdered a spider on live camera. Ah, uh, wait, where were the controls again? Oh, yeah, Z. Fuck me. Ah, it's getting way too long, though. If it continues, like, for another ten minutes, I'm gonna just cut the video in half, make it a part one, part two, whatever. Oh, oh man. All I know is I need to take a break, because... Oh, fuck me. Uh, oh, hey, another door. Because this is lasting a lot fucking longer than I was expecting. It's a beautiful painting. Oh, hey, my flashlight randomly gets restricted. Ooh. I give credit again to the developer in this situation. Now, this is interesting. Like, we really just went to hell right now. This is like Silent Hill hell fucking damn. And then it's over. Come on, they should have made that last a little bit longer. That would look interesting as fuck. They gave me this painting, too. Why, why did I have to take the painting with me? No. Of all the things, I have to get the fucking lemon grab with a... It's like... Is it a lemon grab doing this? Possibly? Maybe? Or it's a lemon grab being licked by another lemon grab with a very long tongue. Maybe. 
jump scare. No. This looks normal. No mannequin. No leg. No mannequin. Oh. It's a little too silent for my own fucking, uh... For my liking. Can I sleep now? No. No sleep. Why? Why did that happen? It's like something was trying to come after me, but since the door was closed, it couldn't get to me. Oh, the painting tried to kill me, okay. I understand. Sure. Now a bathroom. Am I gonna have a shower now? Oh. Well then. Man, my s Why did the door open in that direction? I don't like that. Now this is seriously lasting too long. I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to cut it in half. Hmm. Especially since I don't think I'll be doing too much editing at... I don't think... Weird. I don't think I'll be doing too much editing, honestly. I'll be leaving the tension... What? I'll be leaving the tension and me playing and not speaking sort of segments alone. So the game will be... I'm just gonna want to do minimal editing. That's all I gotta say. What am I doing now? This door has... Oh, great, let's re-enter the nightmare. You know, I was in a peaceful fucking, like, apartment hallway. Let me guess. Mannequin's gonna come running at me. And... Uh-oh. It's in cutscene mode. So what's going to happen? This is the epic conclusion. Mannequin? Is it Cthulhu who controls the mannequins? Or is it me dying? I'm going to assume... It get like PT, you're in limbo, you're stuck in hell, you're possibly on the hospital bed, you're dying. But... Honestly, I'm sure there's possibly clues scattered all around that I didn't find to allude to a story. Developer uh, Equatiques. A bunch of musics from Kevin MacLeod. That guy is super fucking popular with his goddamn songs that he has royalty free, except for accreditation. Um, but okay, well, that was an interesting game. Um, I'm not sure about story, as I was saying. There could be a lot of story involved with this on what happened, who's who, what's going on, what had happened, the props, the rooms, like the computer desk. If there would be some kind of information that would normally lead to some hints that you could possibly scrape together and find out what the story is about, but I, I, I just played it for the experience, apparently, not the story, if there's a story. Um, outside of that, I'll be splitting this in two parts. One will be just a part one, and then I'll just cut, and then I, I'll just cut it and just do two parts. Like, I think what I'll do is, I'll cut it in half, 
and upload it like one in the morning and one like later in the day. So both episodes will be out so you get the full experience in the same day. And let's just do with that. So with that said and done, it was an interesting, I'd say of all the PT clones that I've played, this is maybe one of the better ones. Usually when I enter a PT clone, I usually have uh, really low expectations or like my standards with PT clones are pretty fucking high because I, I'm tired of how overused PT clones are, um, but I'll give credit where credit's due in this one, that I, I, I think it was one of the better ones I've played. There's still that other one that also needs to be released, that I think a lot more people are, uh, hyped for, I can't remember the name of it now, but it, it, I could probably play that in the future as well, but either way, I hope you enjoyed this tense, really tense, uh, atmospheric game. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. And hit that bell down below for notifications on when I release more videos. And until the next time. <sighs> the light broke. Okay, this reminds me a lot about PT. If you've played PT, I mean, the next thing would be her popping up and strangling me out of nowhere. And snapping my neck? Oh, hey, we're playing PT now.